One kind of last question for me, and seems relevant given that you're here in London, is sort of, what's your perspective on how the global startup ecosystem is evolving? I mean, for a long time, you know, kind of the, the joke about Silicon Valley VCs was, you know, if they couldn't walk to the founder's office, then that's nah, quite a long way away. Um, you're here in, in London, presumably not for the weather. Um, you know, we see more and more Silicon Valley VCs come here. As you know, we have an office in Singapore. We're seeing more and more US, Chinese, Indian investors at our demo days there. How do you see, you know, kind of this globalization of, of VC? Is it a real thing? Is it going to carry on? So first, I'd like to think I brought the sun from California. You're welcome. Beautiful two weeks in London. Look, the world is getting flat on entrepreneurship, and there is no one region that has a monopoly on all of the great talent, which is why 500 Startups, why EF, there are all of these organizations around the world that are training a community, building an ecosystem. The nice thing about ecosystems that are at scale is that um, here's the easiest way to think about why Silicon Valley works for startups and why Hollywood works for movies, which is middle managers, right? Middle managers, you usually think of sort of they get the short shrift, um, right? They're sort of the intermediaries. But if you're starting a company, sort of having people who have done something similar is extremely valuable. So that's one thing that's valuable at um, ecosystem at scale. And the other is what I call sort of the Rouger Bannister effect, which is, wow, I didn't know you could go that fast, right, until he ran that mile, and then like everybody could run the mile fast, as fast or faster, right? It's sort of like the, I didn't know you could get that big an outcome. So those are the two benefits from an ecosystem at scale. But look, there's no monopoly that says Silicon Valley is the only ecosystem where that is going to take place. So efforts like this to sort of bootstrap an ecosystem and get enough players in it so there are enough talented middle managers, there's enough people with big outcomes to sort of serve as the Roger Bannister-esque role models, that's fantastic. And that's why I come, that's why other people come. I would say, if you look at the world around us, um, let me use an analogy that uh, people who live in London might appreciate. So Silicon Valley has been the fastest train on the track for a while. If there is one train that makes us go, that could be happening faster. It's China, which is to say, um, have you heard 996 uh, as a description of the work week in China? So that is 9 a.m., 9 p.m., six days a week, 996. And what is 996? 996 is you are being lazy because 997 is what's happening, right? So uh, the intensity of um, uh, China's work ethic, uh, the completeness of the STEM training um, are two critical ingredients. I think the big open question is whether that ecosystem has enough failure in it to create durable outcomes. And by failure, I mean really investors who will lose their pants on companies as opposed to later investors or government entities propping those things up. Because if you're trying to create a durable company, you need more failures and successes because you need the system to basically say, you know, that experiment, it failed, we're moving on. What you don't want is a system that says, I don't want this thing to fail, so we're gonna put another round into it and another round and another round. And if you look sort of outside of venture financing in China and you look at sort of just global, you know, real estate investing, that type of thing, there's a little too much propping happening up, right? So they've got a couple of the key ingredients. They've got a work ethic, they've got intensity, they've got STEM training, they've got ambition. The question now is whether they're put into a system that will allow enough failure so that genuine successes come out of it as opposed to fake successes.